All right, guys, in this video, I'll show you how to set up the conversion API and the Metapixel and install it to your Go High level. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing you do is you want to go to data sets and then create a data set. But I'm assuming you already have a data set. But anyway, let's create one uh, together from scratch. You can click next. After you create the data set, you want to assign an asset, which is the ad account that you would like to track, right? And so which ad account would you like to track, uh, you know, its ads? You want to add this ad account. Now, the next step, you want to go to events manager. Okay, so after you create the data set and you assign an asset, you want to go to data sources events manager and then data sources you want to find the same uh, data set that you created and then here as you can see there's you know multiple things here as you can see there's the uh, setup conversion api setup metapixel link app upload csv file blah 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 the first thing you want to do is uh, go to settings and then there's this automatic website matching. You want to turn this on and then turn all these on as well if they're not already turned on. And then the track events automatically without code. Turn this on as well. And then boom. Okay. You want to go to back to overview and then the first thing you want to do is set up Metapixel. install code manually you want to copy the code and then go to the website header okay so this code needs to be pasted uh, on the website header find the website go to settings and then here as you can see head tracking code boom that's how you add the code and then you save And now if you want to check if, you know, the code is added successfully, you want to go to the website. Now this website that I'm showing here is not published, but I will go to my own website and show you how it should look like. As you can see, you can install this Metapixel helper and, you know, it can show you, hey, you know, there is a Metapixel on this website. And as you can see on my website, uh, you know, you can see that it was added successfully. I'm talking about the header. Now, after you add the header, now we want to set up the conversions API. Okay, but first continue, turn on advanced matching, continue, and then go to pixel overview. Now, after you install the meta pixel on your header, you want to set up the conversions API. So you go to overview and then set up conversions API. Set up manually. Next. Conversions API and Metapixel. Start CAPI setup. And then continue. All right. So now you want to choose the, your niche. Okay. In my you know situation, I'll choose real estate. So if I'm creating an ad account for a real estate investor, I'll choose real estate and then view content, lead, schedule, okay? Continue, because these are the events I wanna track. Boom, 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 you just, um, you know, wanna collect all these data, so click a bunch of times here until you uh, collect all these different options here, and so, lead and then you go to schedule you repeat the same process click 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 view content click 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 best practices and then you go to or you click continue continue again and then um yeah, continue. All right. 
Now you want to click on get started. Okay, this is new actually. Uh, they just added this, which is called the dataset quality API. Mm, okay, let's let's take this one. Generate access token. Now here's the essential part, guys. You want to copy this code, but before we copy it, okay, let's just uh, go to go high level and make the workflow. Okay, so save this page. Don't quit this page. Go to go high level and uh, follow the guide. Okay, because we will return to this code in a you know in a couple of seconds. Go to go high level. If you want my full Go High Level AI snapshot worth thousands of dollars with proven workflows, an AI booking bot, a funnel, a website, and much more, simply go down to the description, join my free school community, and inside the free community, you'll find the snapshot and a free course. And so I made a Go High Level course in addition to the snapshot. So join the free community and get access to the snapshot and the free Go High Level course. And if you are not already a Go High Level user, simply go to gohighlevelh.com, sign up and get 14 day trial. Now back to the video. And then we want to create a new workflow with the conversion API we want to track. And so um, you know, the two events we would like to track is when someone schedules a call and when someone becomes a lead, okay, in my situation. And so when someone becomes a lead is when someone fills out the form, okay? And when someone, uh, you know, schedules, that means they, schedules, uh, they scheduled an appointment, all right? And so on my website, I have two events. I have a survey or a form that you can fill out to request an offer. And then I have a calendar to book an appointment. I would like to track these two events with Facebook from Go High Level. And uh, that's where the access token uh, and the MetaPixel comes in. And so click on create workflow, start from scratch. It's actually easy, just make sure to do it correctly. Conversions API, and then let's start with lead. Okay, so the trigger here would be survey, survey submitted. Save trigger. You select the right survey, and then you search conversion. Facebook conversion API, as you can see. Integration, funnel event, that's important. Keep it on funnel event. And here, as you can see, there is the access token. You will go to this code, copy it, and then paste the access token right here. All right? And then you'll also find your pixel ID. Um, so let's just find it quickly. So you simply go to data sets, uh, to the data set, and then you'll find the ID here. You copy the ID, and then you go and paste it right here. And the event would be lead here. And so every time someone fills out this form, they will become a lead. Okay? That's it. Save action. Then save. And then remember to publish as well. All right? So this is how you set up the conversion API for the lead. Let's now uh, make the appointment one as well. You simply duplicate the same workflow. Now we open this workflow that we just duplicated. We want to rename and call this schedule because this is an, you know, a different event that we would like to track. Here you change or you delete this. We don't need the survey one. We already have. You add a trigger appointment. Customer booked appointment. You choose the calendar in calendar. Consultation call. And then here funnel event. Schedule. 
and then you keep the pixel ID and you keep the access token because we want to use the exact same one. Boom. And then remember to publish. Now this is exactly how you set up uh, the conversions API. Now let's test it together and um, show you that it's actually working. As you can see, I just filled out the survey and it's working because it went through. Now let's schedule a call. Okay, boom, schedule a meeting. And see. Boom, let's refresh the page. All right, so as you can see, both are working. And so now every time someone schedules a call, every time someone fills out the survey, we'll be able to track that on Facebook and we will be able to uh, track that here and collect the data as well. So let's get back to Facebook. Now, after you copy and paste the access token, you want to go to the button and click on finish. All right, guys, so we have done two things. We added the Metapixel code to the header and we installed the Conversions API on Go High Level.